This video is brought to you by ChannelFireball.com. Check out CFB for free strategy videos and articles from the best players in the world. You can also use the code GABBY at checkout to get 5% off any purchase. Hello everybody on YouTube and welcome. We are drafting M20. Ayo. We are not going to be taking... Sounds good, Stipsy. We are not taking Icon of Ancestry, I do not believe. But we could take Herald of the Sun. We could take Cloudkin. We could take Leafkin. That's kind of it. Yeah, I think people are into Cloud Seer. I'm into Cloud Seer too. If you take first picks just for gems, it doesn't hurt to keep in mind for deck building. If you take first pick just for gems... Oh, a Static Charge. I, I already have all the rares in the set, so I'm not, like, rare drafting. Not rares. I, I'm missing some Mythics. Overgrowth Elemental works really well with a Cloud Seer. It's kind of a nice combo. Sounds good, Gloss. Congrats again, by the way. Unsummoned? No, I wouldn't take it this early. Yeah, I like Overgrowth Elemental. It, these work really, really well together. Well, we did get past the murder, so that's actually something to consider. Um, We could also take Sedge Scorpion, but Sedge Scorpion is so much worse than murder by a lot. Or we could take Sleep Paralysis, but then we're... Like, if we take murder, we're in three colors. How good is Overgrowth? It's pretty good. Overgrowth Elemental? Yeah. He's, like, pretty decent. Yeah, I kind of am thinking to take Murder, and then we won't play one of these three, but I think it's fine if we don't play all of them. Like, now we can take a Yarox Wave Crasher. Works actually, like, decently okay with Cloud Seer, and then we'll either be blue-black, or we'll end up being blue-green, ditch the Murder, but then we at least had outs to have, like, a pretty pretty strong card in our, in our deck. Like... See, this Rabbit Bite makes me just want to take Rabbit Bite, and then we just, like, ditch the murder, you know? Uh, hey, Sizzle, how are you? You're on sleep just because I always want to be blue? Yeah, but sleep is, like, not the best removal spell. Because there's a lot of cards that, like, have you sack things. Like, there's the... There's Bone Splinters, there's the Altar. Um, oh my god, Offshore. Sure. <laughs> Kill Dead Murder. Could also take Bow. I do like the Bow, especially if we're going to be blue. The bows, I feel, go pretty late, so I think I'm going to take that, not play murder, put it in there in our sideboard, and yeah, stick with bite bows can be gone later. Yeah, I would also like one of the, the, the guys that tutors if we want to do that. Um, We could... Season of Growth works with rabbit bite, doesn't it? Yeah, you do target. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under control square one, whenever you cast a spell that targets a creature, you control draw a card. A spell that targets a creature you control. So... This doesn't work. With Season of Growth, right? I don't think it should. Season works with Bite. It doesn't work with Yarrick's Wave Crusher. I think we can take Season of Growth and see if we get something cool going. It does not, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, these are all, like, pretty terrible. We could take Gloaming Shaman. It was actually fine in that draft. We don't want Fortress Crab. All these other cards are bad, too. Yeah, Molly, in the last draft, we were getting it, like, second to last pick and stuff. Sponsor was telling you that Ben Stark loves Season of Growth for whatever that's worth. I mean, that is worth a good amount. Ben's a really, really great drafter. How good is Hard Piercer Bow? It's better in multiples, and it's actually pretty good. But you, I think you want it with the dude that... You know the dude that cycles your deck? Or, sorry, that, that helps you search for the bow? I think you want that card. Hold on, I'm getting a text. Well, I might the amount of spam I'm getting is just get, keeps going up. So stupid. Uh, what are we taking here? We can take a soul salvage, see if we splash that. We could also take a lava can brawler in case we end up being not uh blue. Because this card is really good. Brawler gives us an out to teamer with fixing. Yeah, I agree. Let's take brawler. The brawler is like the best card in that pack by so much, you know? All these cards are pretty terrible, for example. We would never play any of these. I guess we'll take Undead Servant and see if we, like, live the Undead Servant dream. It seems like we're really far from making that happen, though. Uh, I do like Evo Wilds here. I like it better than Season of Growth. Yeah, Evo was a really good pickup there. All these are awful. I guess we could take Ripscale Predator. Or... Oh. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Look at what happened. Look, Ma, no hands. Let me get out of the draft and back in real quick. 
Okay, there you go. Get back in there. Okay. I think we are gonna be red, BT dubs. Hey, we wield the hard piercer bow. And we don't want any of these. These are all terrible. All right. Tails end. Dude, why did they add this to the legacy cube? It feels like there was just like a minimum quota of M20 cards that they needed to add. And they were like, I know what we're gonna add. It's gonna be tails end. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. All right, let's look at this deck real quick. Was it good? Was it actual good in cube? It looked ridiculous. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking of that cube and I would have not wanted to put that card in my deck. It feels like a situational card at best. Wing word seems best. Scorpion maybe wheels. Uh, yeah. I guess then we're not red. But wing words is kind of like the best card here. Yeah, I, I kind of... I don't, I don't agree with Tails End. I, I mean, I think it's totally fine to bring it in as a sideboard card, but it just... I wouldn't go as far as to say that it was good in that cube. Yeah, our red cards are bad. Let's just take wing words. Let's get rid of Predator. Oh, we can take a Spectral Sailor. That actually sounds... Oh, wait, there's a Boreal Elemental too. The card can be both situational and good, right? Yeah, it can, but I think saying that it's like sweet in the cube is a little bit of an overstatement. For some reason, my opponent is playing multiple negates in best of one draft. That's really nice. I think Boreal Elemental is better than Spectral Sailor. Even though one is like so much cheaper, but it's really good. Uh, Rugged Highlands lets us splash any other stuff. Do you even want to? Not really. The Trailblazer is really good. It's a little worse when it's the splash color. We do have the one wilds. Rugged Highland and one mountain unless you just splash the brawler. That's true, but then are we taking the Creeping Blazer or are we just taking the Rugged Highlands? I, I do think the Brawler is quite good. Like, if we pick up another one, we would play it. So maybe we just take Rugged Highlands out of this pack. Kind of like doing that. And then putting the... Because this card is very good. Uh, Captivating Gyre? I don't think I want that. Chandra's Embercat, huh? Well, if we Embercat, we're no longer green blue would be red green splash blue for wing words boreal elemental yeah because the cat's like the opposite of fixing like cat would make us go into a different color which might be fine but it does mean that we're going in a different direction this draft is like that girl in high school who keeps giving mixed signals <laughs> Yeah, look, I'm going to take the cat because I think there's a chance we're going to end up being red-green. Like, these are fine. We can just take a Vorse Claw, probably. Hey, chicken! Welcome! Hold on, so let's look at... We would probably put the Dagger Soul back in the deck. Hey, Lord Thanos! Welcome! We could take the Woodland Champion and then in pack 3 we can try to get another, like, Scampering Scorcher or something. Yeah, that doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, I think we're going base base red green, splash blue for some of our stuff, but Yeah, we wouldn't mind getting a smuggler. That doesn't sound too bad. None of these cards are good though. These are all bad. I guess we can take a vile. Unlikely to play it. Ooh, we another lava can brawler. That's actually pretty good. Unexciting Shaman. We already have the first one. I really doubt we play two. That was in the last pack. No, Ozzy, I know, but I think we were supposed to take um I think we we're supposed to take the rugged highlands. It's it's the same pack you're talking about, right? These are all kind of whatever. I guess Wolfkin Bun. Would be nice if we will the Highlands. Hey, look, we got a reduced smash. See, this is coming together. We're just not gonna be I'll take this for the sideboard, I guess. These are all kind of medium. Let's just take this. Oh, I still think you take Woodland Champion there, though, Ozzy. Because I think we do want a couple of two drops in this deck. We've waffled a lot, so... Also, these colors, like, actually can make tokens, so... Oh, another Hard Piercer Bow. Let me get the second one. I think we're more likely to play that than Fire Elemental. All right, so let's do some cleanup, shall we? We are probably splashing the Boreal Elemental. I don't know about the Wave Crasher. It doesn't look like it's that good in this deck. I could see us splashing the Wing Words and the Cloud Conceer as well. We have one Rugged Highlands, one Evolving Wild. Do we have any other 
No. Yeah, I don't think we want to take the second wing words. It's not even clear we're playing the first one. I think we want to take the land. We'll just make sure we can play our blue cards. Because we get Rugged Highlands, Thornwood Falls, and then Mask, Miter Land. The Mask is kind of cute because it goes well with the Woodland Champion, but I actually think the land is super important here. Oh, there's a renowned Weaponsmith. Hold on. That could dramatically change things. One second. One second. So... We get rid of our red. Or well, the Lava King Brawlers would still be in there. But we get rid of the Aeronaut, and then we still keep the Reduced to Ashes. Look at this. So we play the Renowned Weaponsmith. We play the two Hard Piercer Bows and the Vial of Dragonfire. This is... I am full teamer. I am just like a totally all in on the teamer train. And then this is a three. So let's fix that up a little bit. This is a two. These are fours, five, five, five. And it's not even clear that we'd play this. And then we have this fixing. So, hey, the Druid, how are you? So, yeah, we take the Weaponsmith. We go blue-green. Splash. Oh, that's cool, Torpid. You want to play Vile even with Weaponsmith? That's fair. I also do not want to play Bond, agreed. So, if we take that out and we take that out. And it's also minus three. Let me see if there's anything else we would play. Yeah, let me put the Wolf Bond back in because I think we might end up playing that. So our fixing is good now. Let me move. You played Vial with Weaponsmith and thought it was fine, honestly. I might, depending on how short we are at playables, but I think this is happening. I think we go Weaponsmith here. And we now we don't look back. Like, now we have the fixing for the red cards and we just have to take the cards that are good. Damn it! We saw a Creeping Trailblazer, but there's a Cloud Concealer. This one's really good, too. Nice. Hey, OZ! Welcome! How we doing? Uh, I think this is just another Boreal Elemental. We doing great? I love it. Obviously, do you have cool weekend plans? Oh yeah, energy. I think the Trailblazer is really good, but like we now with a Weaponsmith, we're just on a different. Uh, we're just on a different plan. Overbite. Yeah, I think Boreal Elemental is really good. I kind of don't mind having more of that guy. Ferocious Pop works pretty well in this deck. Oh, we have the Goblin Smuggler, but I don't think we want to splash this dude. I think we just take the Ferocious Pup. It fits into our curve, like, pretty decently, and it also works with a Woodland Champion. I gotta go get some modern cards at the GP side. Be back in a bit. Oh, have fun, Molly. Sick playing in GP mini brags. Ooh, Gift of Paradise is actually, like, really, really good. Because we would 100% play it. It is a combo with the bows too, Lumiere. I, I I do like it. I just don't want to splash it. Is my biggest problem. So here we just take a growth cycle probably because we also have the season of growth, right? We don't have that much stuff that works with season of growth. Tbh, we might keep the wolfkin bond in it for that reason. Uh, anticipate seems okay. Just take that. Oh, Feral Invocation is good with a with a Season of Growth. That seems not too bad. I don't think we're going to play Convolute either. Chad, I think we got there. I think our deck got there. It's not like the best deck ever, but it's okay. Sprite is fine. Stone Golem. Uh, maybe I'm more likely to play the Smuggler, though. I really don't think that's happening. Maniacal Rage and... Just some nonsense. Yeah, we kind of got there. We're like getting there a little bit. You can't say that we're not getting there. You can say that we're kind of getting there. <laughs> All right, so this is 42 cards. Uh, 5, 9, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we have enough lands. You're at, you can look search for the local event on MTG Arena. Wait, what are you asking about, Lord Thanos? Did somebody ask about that? Yeah, we're not not getting there. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think the season of growth is not looking amazing. So I think maybe we cut that. And I think if we cut the season of growth, we can also cut the wolfkin bond because I think the card's kind of shitty. Loaming Shaman, Feral Invocation, Bond seem average too. Yeah, we have a lot of mediums. You think season's fine here? Why would you cut Time Twister? 
Does not your laptop can barely handle their two to three risen reefs out playing one red red chandra and scam rings? <laughs> yeah, Siggy, you know, I've seen from people that arena causes like some of the most computer lag from like any game, which is weird to me because I feel like arena is like not a super like FPS heavy game, but I think the memory leaks make it really hard. Yeah, so we have four sources for three cards. That's not the best, but it's okay. Yeah, I, I don't like the shaman. We can definitely get rid of that. That's the first one to go. Sprite? I kind of like the sprite. I like having flyers with double hard piercer bow. I think it helps uh, to be able to attack with them. Do you think gift is necessary? Yes, 100%. You think I can cut bond and still play season? We would have rabid bite growth cycle and feral invocation as, t as things that can trigger it. Yeah, that might be enough. I can see that. All right, so let's fix the mana real quick. We need to, let me pull out my little notepad. I like growth cycle tacos tacos because we're playing um, season of growth. All right, so we need to do red, green, blue. Okay, uh, the autocomplete has done a terrible job because we probably only want one. So let me add uh one here one here so that's six seven uh eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so we're missing one more probably another forest let me look at that yeah so that's seven fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen so this mana is one two three four red uh, for blue, we have six, seven with Ornwood Falls, eight with Evolving Wilds, nine with Paradise, Gift of Paradise, and then for green, we have seven forests, eight with Rugged Highlands, nine with Ornwood Falls, ten with Evolving Wilds. Okay, so yeah, our mana's not bad. Our mana is four red, ten green, nine blue. Yeah, of course, Devils. Yeah, this looks not bad. All right, chat. I need to go use the restroom real quick. Okay, I'll burb. Let me put a an ad while I'm gone. All right, I will be right back. Mm, look at my good dog. She's coming to say hi. She's blessing you with her presence. Jules, do you want to stream? Would you like to stream, Poppers? Nope, she is not into it. Poppers, come here. Mm, good dog. Look at that good dog. Good dog, Julie. She is a good dog. Hi, Jules. Nah, I already gave you some treaties. I'm sorry, puppy. You can only get so many treaties. You can't just eat treaties. You're being so silly. Chat on MTG. No, oh my god, no. No, never chat on MTG. I'm really happy there is no chat on MTG. <laughs> that would be atrocious. Jules, don't look at me like that. I'm not giving you more treaties. You're making me feel guilty. Don't look at me like that. Jules, I'm being serious. I'm not giving you more treaties. You already had a bunch of treaties today. Boy. Good girl. You can only eat so many treaties? Yeah, I don't know. I'm... I'm the problem with giving her, like, I would honestly give her more treaties, but she does get picky with her food. So we're supposed to, like, make sure she's eating her food before we give her treaties, which so far has been fine, but she does do that. Oh, <laughs> I, that's funny. I, Luis is, like, at a conference, but I was using our chat window to write the mana. So I said R4, G10, U9, and he's, like, seems like a gassy elementals list. <laughs> and he's not wrong. Uh, yeah, let me just lead on forest, I think. But he, he figured it out. He figured out what it meant. <laughs> okay. Our opponent's going pretty fast, pretty furious. How many gifted subs for treaty? No, I don't want to do that because I don't want to. I don't want to equate the the treaties for gifted subs. I we do do like the rally giveaways, but I need to like pull it at the end of today so that we can actually give it to people on tomorrow. 
in which you would be trying the treaty on. <laughs> hey, Pasho. Thank you for the seven month resub. Welcome back. Hi, Jules. Okay, that's that's acceptable. Uh, I mean, so what we could do here is we could pump up the Metropolis Sprite and then have it bite the Woodland Champion, because I'm worried that the Woodland Champion is going to get out of control. Oh, it's not just you. It's not just you, Energy. I think anybody would agree. Alright, so I think we just pump up the jam and then... Feels really bad to do this when we have Season of Growth in hand, but I, I'm really worried about this thing getting out of hand. Uh, you and you. I don't think cats would be trustworthy signing a treaty at all. I'd much rather sign with dogs. Dogs, you feel like, might try to uphold their end of the deal. Jesus, this is... What are we playing, standard? Damn, girl! Hi, Jules. Well, that was bad. Okay, I think we just have to... Man, that Omnath is gonna mess us up. Yeah, I think we just have to go land Lava and Brawler. Yeah, and then next turn we'll just go Overgrowth, put a counter on here so it can block the Omnath. But, like, we're in such bad shape. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Put a counter on Omnath. Yeah. We're gonna have to line up some double blocks, maybe. I think we just do this. Line up a double block next turn. Play Rugged Highlands, I guess. Alright, this is bad. Yeah, the Omnath's gonna take over the game. The problem is they're also gonna get to 7 mana. It's 7, right? If you control 8 or more lands, draw a card. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Okay, that doesn't really matter. That just gives them the healer unblockable. I bet they're not even gonna attack with the Omneth is my is the problem here. Yeah, they, look, they're they're not even bothering. Also, let me take off the Julie cam. They're not even bothering. Okay, what are we trying to scry into? I counted the gift as a land. Oh, did I? Okay, that's good, but it's still like this still puts counters on. Yeah, they, it still puts counters on elementals. Yeah, this this, this one for sure has lavakins. Like this is just looking pretty bad. This is the wrong deck. I need to screenshot the other deck. Um, and this is the plan. We're not gonna play that yet. I feel like it's like pretty important for us to try to get a scry off of this. And just get another green, that's fine. Yeah, we have the wrong deck. I need to screenshot the other deck. Because, like, at least they're not attacking with their other stuff while this is going on. And then now I can play, like, Boreal Elemental and then Scry from this. Well, that was really bad. Julie, I'm dying. I'm dying, puppy. We're getting browned. I think if they're going to let me trade here, that seems acceptable. Oh, it's because of the splash, the wise. Not for any other reason. Nope. Julie's dying due to lack of treats. I think she's doing just fine. Oh, good girl. Oh my god. <laughs> my opponent had a good draft. Where do I go to these drafts where I get just, like, amazing mythics? We haven't had a draft like that today. Julie, we got browned. Jules, I got browned. Are you mad? I think she's mad. Dude, that did not- it honestly didn't even look like a limited draft. Like, it just looked like- <laughs> It looked like a Loki constructed, like, constructed pre-con deck for, like, 
Friday Night Magic or something. Like a little underpowered because it's playing Healer Glaze, but just still like a constructed deck. Oi. Ooh, I like their avatar. Yeah, that was the first game. Hi, Jeweled. Mm. Mm. I don't have to give you a bath, Jeweled. You're starting to smell like dog. I think we do just go ahead and get red with this. Yeah. Because it's not going to stop us from casting the Worst Claw. Yeah, exactly, aesthetic. It's okay. It's like, it's not good, not bad, just, just okay. Ooh, that was kind of an okay draw. Oh, Ozzy, I forgot to screenshot the deck. Uh, I'll do it next game. <laughs> we can actually kill the Salvager with our Heart Piercer bow. Feels good, man. All right, I think we just try to set it up so that we draw a card off of this and then Cloud can see or we'll shoot it down next turn. Okay. So next turn, I also think we might just try to go wing words and to try to draw land. No blocks. Never! Yeah, if we draw land, we can also gift. So we didn't draw the land, but I think what we can do, you guess 4-3 with this deck? I worry about the late game power, but let's hope you face more decks like the last one. I'm just wrong. No, I would guess 4-3 for this deck too, Lumiere. I don't think you're you're that far off. Uh, let me get rid of the Julie camp for now. So this is what we can do. We can wing the words, because um, this is 2 to equip, right? 1 to equip. So we can wing words just to get started, see what we draw. Oh, man. For reals? We were supposed to draw land. <sighs> I don't know what's pausing for our opponent. It might just be the salvager activated ability. <laughs> Alright, sure. That that makes sense. Um I don't really see where the Metropolis sprite fits into our curve. Salvager ability needs a target. Oh, that's right. There is nothing in the yard. Okay, so it, it did have to be something like Feral Invocation. I mean, that was pretty good. Jeez, they're going ham. Reduced to Ashes would be good if we ever got to cast that. Like, we might just have to play Ferocious Pup and just, like, stall for a little bit. Okay, thank God. That was good. Mm. We could take one more hit off of that thing. Because we, what we can do here is gift and then, like, bite the, the wolf. Just so that we are not taking as much damage and attack. And then the next turn we can play Reduce to Ashes, which sounds kind of okay. Yeah, so, like, we'll gift onto this forest, for example. One, two, three... And then we're doing this just so that we don't take so much damage. This one and this one. Alright, and then we can attack. And then we take another six. And then reduce to ashes to kill this thing next turn. Get for sure kills next turn, hopefully, unless they have more buffs. Oh, if they have another buff, I don't think that we can beat this. So I, I'm not even going to worry about it, you know. Undead Servant. We can deal with that. Cool. It worked. Uh, we're like, there's no way we're blocking the undead servant, so let's attack. And then next turn, we can either play Boil Elemental to block it, or even like literally anything else might be okay. Yeah, we got good value there. They put so much stuff on it. They had a Wolfkin Bond and a Feral Invocation. Okay, so let's play that. So we can play Vor's Claw next turn. That's nice. Let's just play a Boreal Elemental. Attack with Cloud Seer. All right, I like our spot. We're in like not bad shape now. They they had to go all in on the Salvager just to uh, not die that turn, but it's not panning out very well for them. Yeah. 
Okay, so they need to do two spells one turn here, otherwise this is a waste. So what do they have? Do they have Blade Brand? It must be, right? Like, what else could this possibly be? I guess it could be another Undead Servant, and they are trying to see if they get this one in the yard so they can make another one. I think we maybe just take it. I'm gonna no-block it. They might still cast Blade Brand. Okay, they still cast... Okay. Alright, alright, that's fine. We got lots of stuff to do here. How much mana do we have? One, two, three... We have- oh, we have seven? So this is what we can do. This is nice, look. We play Ferocious Puppers. We pick up Ferocious Puppers. Ding dong. And now we can just leave back these two. We can just block those idiots. Hey, Defo! Welcome back for the 31 months. Could have been also two growth cycles. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. I don't think we're supposed to play around that. Another Diamond Knight. I've okay. got so many. They put name this one on green. So this one's green and this one's black. That's kind of not great for their Diamond Knights. <laughs> I think we just keep sending in the skies. Send with these two. Shoot the puppers. I'm sorry, puppers! And. Ba bam. Man, those bulls look pretty bad, bad game, huh? I guess it's only because we had one. If we had two, it would have been, like, pretty good. Time Toucher, you played a lot with the bows, right? Do you like him in the decks where you can't play the, the tutor guy? Or are they just, like, medium? Do you still like him? Because it looks so bad, that game. Where if we had had two, it would have been much better, you know? I think we can keep this. Okay, well... Bo has a chance at redemption. We're gonna get to see how that works. <laughs> Bet they have Steel Overseer if they're running this many artifact creatures. They could, yeah. I could see that. I would buy that, for sure. This is not an elemental, right? It's an elf scout. <sighs> yeah, the, the that's true. The Hard Pusher Bow did force them to use the Feral Invocation on it, but they didn't have to put the Wolfkin Bond on it. So it might have been that that was the only creature they had. So it's not really, like, that caused everything. Scaly? Ooh. That's not bad. Is this an elemental? And it's a fairy rogue. He didn't play Steel Golem because of the bow right away. Oh, that actually might be true. It might have been that they, they slow rolled those knights until they could, like, grow them a little bit. So maybe the Hard Piercer bow did more work than we realize. Um, yeah, I think it's just Metro. Maybe it's just Winged Words. And to play two two drops next turn. Because if I play Metropolis Sprite, then Winged Words only cost one and I can play Hard Piercer Bow. So maybe it is better to just play Sprite. Hey, Grim Petals, how are you? We are playing some Limited. Um, we have a, like, Teamer kind of Elemental-ish deck. Can't block here. Okay, that's fine. So they have a 3 drop at most? Oh, weird. Huh. I could block. That's true, if they pump, they trade. Eh, might do that next turn. I kind of like having this flyer, especially when we have hard piercer bows. Look, like we got the renowned weaponsmith. Now I just want to do this. Do they have convolutes and they're thinking about convoluting I think? It might be that. Because I, I really like having the flyers for when I have um, the bow. It might be okay to trade though.
What do they have? Is it just like bone splinters or something? Or sorry, is it like bone tash or something? I feel like I don't really want to play real stuff into this. Let me play a hard piercer bow. Got another one. Yeah, but I want to use it to tutor right now. Otherwise. Yeah, look at that. Ew. How's it been working out? Eh, it's been okay. I don't think this deck is like super good. We've, we played against the person that had like a super nutty deck. They had Omnath and Chandra. Huh. I'm not really into blocking this. Siggy, I think they have, um, I'm pretty sure my opponent has a, um, Bone Ash. I'm like, I'm like totally convinced that they do. So I don't really want to play creatures while they're doing that. Mythic or rare Chandra? Uh, the mythic Chandra. The, the, bi the big grown-up Chandra. All right. So, you know, actually, I think I'm, without using the mana, I'm just going to put that here. Hey, Asai, welcome. And I think I can attack with all of them. Hit the piranhas. Well, Siggy, there's, like, no reason for us to really do it while they're... Okay, see, now that they have done that, I can probably play... Eh, it might actually be fine to growth cycle and just try to make it big enough, because it's going to go to minus two, and then we growth cycle to plus one. Let me let that resolve. Yeah, I think it's fine to trade here, actually. Or not trade, like, get to eat it still or whatever. All right. I just feel so strongly that if what they're doing is holding a bone to Ash this entire time, like, they're just behind on board by doing this. Like, we still get to make plays without having to play into that. See, and now that they've played a Fortress Crab, now we can play our big stuff, right? Now we can play, like, Boreal Elemental. Attack with both of these. The Fortress Crab doesn't do anything to either of them, but we can just shoot down the Skeleton. So I think they're just behind on board for having done all of that. For some reason, you read that as growth, not overgrowth. <laughs> I don't, but I don't really want to. So basically, Siggy, like, it's not about baiting them with a creature. It's that if all they're planning on doing is playing, is doing nothing, we are good by not doing anything either. Does that make sense? Like, we're ahead on board. So there's no reason for us to do that. They are now, like, they've now wasted so much time by doing this. Could have used Weaponsmith to move equipments rather than deal one. Save two mana. Okay. Yeah, this person, this person has Bone to Ash. I, I will not believe otherwise. I'll take the Rugged Highlands, I guess. Let's do it all over again. Shoot the Skelly. Yeah, see, this is, wh this is why I never wanted to play anything into this. Like, this person's so committed to doing that that they're literally gonna die because they just don't want to... Because they want to counter something so much. Because it's not an instant. It's something that I think whatever they have is like going to be on the stack. Because it's not pausing otherwise. No, I don't think so. Otherwise, I, I believe very strongly that they have a... They kind of have a flood of tears that they could be holding back. I really doubt that. And I, we should not play around that either. 
Um, so it is reasonable to play around Convolute here. I think we do that by playing this first and then playing Overgrowth Elemental, see if they counter that. Oh my gosh, it's totally Convolute! Okay, it's not Bone Ash, I think it's Convolute. They just couldn't do it that turn, and that's what they've been passing with, like, the entire time. So, they do have something that is pausing in combat. And they do have the Skelly activation. I mean, it's possible we could try playing the Overgrowth Elemental and see if we run into that Convolute. Like, we wouldn't care if this one gets Convoluted. It was Convolute. They might still have Bone Ash, though. We'll see. Also means they can't get their Skeleton back. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah, we've been pretty far ahead. That doesn't really matter. They're attacking with Sage's Road Denizen? That attack seems wrong. I'll block with Weaponsmith for sure. Then we just move the... Move the equipment over to the Boreal Elemental. Yeah, they are not in good shape. They shouldn't have attacked. I think that attack was like pretty bad. Yeah, so I think this is like the classic clinic and what happens when you are committed to trying to counter your opponent's spell and then you've like been at it for like four turns. <laughs> they just got behind for so long. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. Alright, what's the best we got given that they did that? <laughs> Sounds good accountant, Bob. See ya. Well, they are in a spot where they do have to chump, so that's something. <laughs> Rab rabbit bite's still good. Like, we can. the The problem is they still have that sanitarium skeleton, but we can still move the the. Um, we can reequip. So, like, basically, think this turn we want to go rabbit bite, and I think we want to like. Probably bite the fortress crab. So creature you control, creature you don't control. I think we want to deacon because I think we want to make them block. See, they're forced to block, so now the agent is gone too. And then we can play Lava Can Brawler. Play Thornwood Falls and then just move the equipment back. We can put it on the brawler. So now both of these are lethal. Well, color me surprised. I wonder what they're trying to do. They have to have like three blockers for this? Oh. Well, that's stupid. Right, and they can even play the crab. Blech. The blood for bones got us good. Fen lurker. <laughs> we drew another boreal elemental. That's funny. Uh, yeah, we definitely attack. This is an elemental, so we kind of need to put this first. This is black to pump, right? So we can do one here, and then like one here. Alright, so this is lethal and it does force them to chump with the agent, and then the boil elemental is not lethal, but it can kill them in two turns. So even if they have a boar's claw, it's not like that bad. I believe we want to move this to the boil elemental. How many Cloud Conceers before a draft deck is utterly busted? I mean, on you honestly only need like three or something. Like, Cloud Conceer is really good. Yeah, we're doing okay. Like, the ground is gummed up, but the Boreal Elemental was a really good draw. Sure. Okay. 
So we're just gonna have to leave back that as blockers. We just attack with a Boreal Elemental. Shoot down the skeleton. You think this is my game? We're very close. Now we just have to... I mean, if they have a way to kill my Lava King Brawler, we're dead. But if not, they're dead. There you go. How many do you have six foot? That card is really excellent. Like, you really don't need that many before your deck is busted. It's just so good. It cantrips at a 2-1 flyer. You officially signed up for GP Vegas? Ayo! I'm excited for Vegas. Cloudkin is almost Baleful Strix. Don't let Molly hear you say that, Yuka. Molly, Molly does not like you comparing Baleful Strix to anything. If they've been doing stuff on those turns, they pass with Convolute the Agent. Oh yeah, totally. I actually think that was their, their game to win. Especially with Blood for Bones and also the Agent. We should have been dead. I think they just spent so long trying to convolute our stuff. I actually even think it might have been wrong to play the Overgrowth Elemental when we did. Because they're clearly so committed to the cause. He's not here right now, Yuka. He's uh, at the GP side picking up cards for tomorrow. Oh, this is the best turn I have seen in a growth. That's kind of cool. Look at this. Ba ba ba! Perfect. Oh, that was a good draw. That's also a good draw. Hell yeah. Love it. You very rarely. You have five plus Peggy's and an Eagle. Topping out with Portal Agent. That sounds really sweet. Uh, yeah, I think for mana efficiency, we just play Lavakin Brawler. And then next turn, we can go Overgrowth Elemental Rabbit Bite. That sounds pretty good. Let's keep that on top still. Oh, we're out. I know what we're gonna pick up with a Yarrux Wave Crasher. Oh, baby! Alright, so we have an interesting choice here. I guess we're supposed to just play Yarrux and pick it up. Because we could have also gone Overgrowth Elemental Rabbit Bite, but I don't think biting that is worth it. It's so bad. Return this. I don't think we want that land. We're gonna get to six soon enough. I don't think we're in a rush for that. Yeah, did you see that? That was really nice. Got him good. Sleep Paralysis is useless. Taste it. Oh, they have their own. That one we're gonna want to bite, for example. Okay, so let's kick it off with a rabbit bite. And we can bite you and you. Yeah, so we drew and then we get to eat it. Now I think we might just play a Lavakin Brawler since we drew the land. Let's attack with both. Wow, we are crushing our opponent. This looks mediocre. I don't think we need it. Oh boy. And it's gonna loot. Alright. That seems okay. Can I ask a question about standard dino? Do you like it? Do you suggest to play it or not? Standard... Are you talking about like Jun, Jun dinos? Is that the deck you're... You talking about? Let me play this. Yeah, it's worth it, I think. Oh, is it Bone Ash? Oh, it's just Befuddle. That doesn't matter. We really got the Nuts draw. It's been amazing. Uh, we don't need that. I do like Jun Dinos. I don't think it's a very good deck. I think you can definitely play it, but it's like solidly tier 2. And it's... It has, like, really awkward draws. Like, basically every draw where you don't have a 2-drop Accelerant, it you... you like, the deck just doesn't function. So it feels really bad when you do that. Ayo! We ranked up! So we're in tier 2? Gen Dino seeds Mono Red. Oh yeah, it is good against Mono Red, because you just, like, play, like, the 7-6 Dino and Mono Red's like, I can't win, like, how do I attack into this? 
It was good, Dr. McTavish. It was really good. Thanks for asking. We're probably going to go on another Bumble BFF date. So yeah, Ozzy, I, I would basically say if you have enough of the wild cards to make it happen, go for it. But I wouldn't like put all your eggs in one basket. Like if you are going to burn the last of your wild cards to make that happen, I don't, and you want to rank up, I don't know if I'd recommend that. Yeah, of course, Ozzy. No worries. Okay. Yeah, Dinos is also going to rotate is the thing. So, like, almost all the cards that make that deck good are, are going to go away. Mono Blue Tempo is not as good anymore. It's just okay. What's rotating out? Most of that deck. Like, all, almost all the dinosaurs. You get to keep Marauding Raptor and Rotting Regisaur, and that's it. I don't think I'm blocking that. Yeah, Ixalan rotates out, so basically, like, all the dinos in that deck are also rotating out with it, which is not really where you want to be at. Uh, I believe we want to get rid of this guy, so I think the best we can do this turn is probably, like, play Renowned Weaponsmith. So that can block the Ancestral dude, and then we just bite this to that. And then we can set up to get the bows out with this guy. Oh, I sorry, you're right, the Ceratops stays too. But honestly, like, a lot of the cards that make that deck good are gonna rotate out. Like, all the Dino Synergy cards were in Ixalan, so... Most- that deck I don't think is gonna be playable post-rotation. Yeah, Snapcaster, it was bad. <laughs> it was real bad. Yeah, Vamps, Dinos, Scapeshift, they're all dead. The show. Wow, they're attacking into my Renown Weaponsmith? I kind of don't want to block because I feel like I need this. I I am not... It might have not been a trick. It might have been a chump attack. I feel stupid now. Yeah, I too don't want to do it just given how... How much we need to get the bows out. So this is going to be good. We can play the Lavakin Brawler. I'm going to leave these guys back because I'm fine making some trades, especially with a uh, Marauder's Axe. But here we're just going to get the, the bow out and then we'll play it next turn. Yeah, that seems good. Let me just not even attack. I think once we have double bow out, we're just going to crush them. So let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, Ultipic Huntmaster's leaving. That one's super important to the deck. Uh, although Marauding Raptor does the same thing as Ultipic Huntmaster. Reggie Alpha is gone. Galta is gone. Ripjaw Raptor is gone. Oh, the Fight one is gone. Commune with Dinos is gone. Like, there's just so many cards that are going to leave. So they did this attack last time too. What do they have? I think we block like this, and then see what they have. Yeah, this is fine. We're gonna run something into a trick. Uh, that's kind of annoying, actually. Hmm. I did not- I was not playing thinking about Inspired Charge at all. Well, that was bad. I said enough keep stuck real quick. I thought it was plus two plus two. I thought we were losing one of our creatures. Like, that's what I thought was going to happen there. Um, I can probably tutor out one more Hard Piercer Bow here because I'm probably just going to play Boreal Elemental. So this makes sure that we don't draw it. Okay, uh, so let's go to draw step. That's fine. Go to main, play Island, play Boreal. That's fine. Okay, so they're deciding not to attack this turn. That's actually kind of good for us. Alright, let's do some math. If we play... We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, potentially 7, 8, 9. So we can play a bow, play another bow, equip, equip, send, kill, like, the fire cat. And that leaves back just the weaponsmith. 
Then we have to deal with that Keldon Raider, but... I think we can deal with that after we're done doing all of that. Like, I actually want to make it so that... The renowned weaponsmith is left back to block. Yeah, so let's go, like, hard pierce her bow. Yeah, we're not even going to use the weaponsmith. Can't try to deal with the raider using invocation. Nah, I, basically what's going to happen is I'm going to use a feral invocation later on the renowned weaponsmith. I just do want him untapped because I want to block the ember cat or the ancestral blade. I'm going to play the Eva Wild, and I'm going to send with Boreal Elemental. And I'm going to kill the Ember Cat. Nah, you shouldn't feel bad, Lumiere. Don't feel bad about it. They Look, as long as Hogek is around and legal, like you shouldn't feel bad about playing it. Like It seems like a fine thing to do. It's obviously like kind of a stupid deck, but... Yeah, Weaponsmith's been really good. See, so like now we're going to take another hit. But like in following turns, we're both going to be able to shoot down this thing and then have Feral Invocation back to block. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Because now I'm going to take 8. That's fine, though. When's next DNR? Not till rotation, so it's going to be a while. They did try to ban it. That, that was the thing that was hard, is that they did actually try to ban Hogak. <laughs> it just didn't really work very well. Oh, are they moving the Ancestral Blade? Maybe... They are. Next BNR announcement, August 26th. Yeah, so it's coming soon-ish. All right, so here's the plan. I think we move both weaponsmith, like both things to the weaponsmith, shoot down the one one and shoot the captain for one. And if they block it, then we just feral invocation. And if not, we can leave the boil element and, and feral invocation that thing. It's not a great spot to be in. Yeah, and I think we just send the Weaponsmith. And go like one and one. Yeah, so they're not gonna block. All right. So we're going to have to take a hit for whichever one is axed, but the other one we're going to be able to feral invocation and block. They're not putting axe on anything? That's really weird. I might just block this one because I want it to look less suspicious. That was really weird. What is their plan? Why didn't they equip? It's like so, it's just strictly better to equip if they don't have anything in hand. Oh, they, wait, they also did that after combat? Hey, Pezzo, welcome to the stream. Yeah, you were right, Johnny. They did have just some random five drop. They kind of did play themselves. Yeah, it. Like, if they wanted to do that, it could have been a 4 4, you know? We are gonna have to chump with Renowned Weaponsmith, though, next turn, I think. Because Boreal Elemental can get to eat one of these. It doesn't help that they've drawn five lands and we've drawn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not good. They try to bluff and pay the iron price. Yeah, I, I did think they were trying to bluff. It just didn't work out very well. Sure. Like here, I think I'm just chumping with a renowned weaponsmith. I don't actually like trading here yet. Wait, what happens if we block with a Boreal Elemental? What do we even do with a Weapon Smith? We have to top deck, but maybe it's okay.
They because then they can put this and this on this guy. Yeah, Johnny, I think that's like everyone's feeling the same way. I, I have asked a lot of my friends of Modern's Fun right now, and they're like, it's just kind of like Kogak, the format. If you're okay with that, then sure, it's fun. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to double block. Uh, we're gonna have to double block that. And it's gonna take both of them down. That's kind of stinky. So the, the thing that's kind of annoying about this spot is that like as long as they have a creature, it's gonna be pretty big. Okay, I don't really know what happened, but that works for me. I, I think they probably will end up banning Hogak. I think... Because I think they, they, they wanted to ban Hogak, they just didn't want to ban the whole deck, and so they... So then they got rid of Bridge from below, which was supposed to stop the deck, but it kind of didn't. <laughs> That's right on time, good lord. Yeah, I, th I think it's going to get banned. I think so, too. So we can move the counters, the, the bows onto the Lava Can Brawler. And this is the only elemental, right? Not an elemental, not an elemental, not an elemental. But we hit it for two. And then ping for two more. So... Yeah, we can definitely do this. And then they're forced to... Uh... Seems banned to dumb to ban cards from a format where they exclusively release for... Yeah! The problem is it does totally warp the, the... Like, it really warps modern, so at some point they have to, like, bite the bullet, right? Okay. Okay, we have enough stuff to chump with. Uh, the Lava Kin Brawler, I'm not super... Unless, unless they have... Oh, that's kind of annoying. Okay, that doesn't stop that from dying. I can still kill it when I attack. Yeah, I don't know what their plan was with moving the blade here. It doesn't seem like it does anything. You don't believe they will ban Hoga? I think they'll keep attacking cards in the deck. Yeah, I, I mean, it, they're gonna ban something, right? I think people agree that they're gonna ban something. It might not be Hogak. I think they are going to try to hose the deck again. Alright, we got there. No amount of axes is going to stop us. They're never going to ban Faithless Floating Lumiere. I think they love that card so much. I think everybody loves that card so much. They just can't. Any tips for choosing colors when drafting limited? Uh, white is not very good in this format, but outside of that, uh, you can kind of go where wherever you want to go. Green's pretty good. Blue's pretty good. You're saying you have faith they won't ban? No, I, I, they're gonna ban something. They're gonna hose the deck. I don't know what they're gonna ban though. It might not be Hogak. It might be something else. Uh, yeah, we can keep this. Oh, faith they won't ban faithless looting. Yes, I have faith that they won't ban faithless looting. I just think people love that that card too much. Just like it was feel bad to buy a pack and get rampaging for us. Yeah, I mean that there is a big reason that they wouldn't want to ban it, and it's because Modern Horizons is still being sold. So like if you open a Hogak and it's banned, that's like a super feel bad, you know. And it was less so with rampaging for Alcidon, I think. 
Nobody was really sad to see Rampaging Frozen go. It was kind of a joke that it got banned. I have a Cerulean Drake. Okie dokie, Smokey. I need another land so I can play me a Lava King Brawlers, though. I might just play War Yarok because I have nothing to bounce back. Resolves. Is it more of a feel bad to open a ban rare than it is to open a rare that's worth like 35 cents because it's unplayable? <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Land! Uh, stupid. I mean, this can block that, which is funny. It can't block Octoprofit, though. Oh, I think Hogek is a rare, right? Oh my gosh, my opponent's kind of going off. Uh... <clears throat> this is really stupid. Ah. Uh... I think we have to go for the Feral Invocation, like, trick them. So let me bin right on Weaponsmith. I think that's the only way we can get out of this. Like, eat the Octoprofit in this attack, and then the following turns we can block Boreal Elemental. You'd rather open a ban rare, at least it could be good in other formats or casual magic? Maybe, but I think it... <laughs> people feel so bad about it in general that it's really hard for them to, like, want to ban the card that is in theory, attracting people to open the format, you know? Alright, well, we got the two for there. But, yeah, I don't really know how we're gonna deal with that Boreal Elemental. I guess... That doesn't even work. Because we could pump the Metropolis Sprite and then, like, try to fight the Boreal Elemental. But that doesn't even work, does it? I think we have to anticipate into a land. That's step one. Okay. Step one. Step two, play the forest. Step three, let them attack with both Boreal Elementals, and we grow cycle one of them. And then in the following turn, we can go, if we draw another land, like, put this into a 4-3, bite it, and then pay for the two for Boreal Elementals. So we are in this game-ish. Yeah, rabbit bite is uh, no rabbit bite is not is not a fight. It's a punch. Sure. It's kind of annoying. Why are they attacking with just one? They can totally attack with the other. No, the bow's not awful. The bow is, is fine. We're playing two in our deck. It's totes fine. Yeah, it really it really is actual good. I'm not trolling. Okay, so we really needed to hit a land there. We didn't, unfortunately. Um and that bow does make it so I can't actually block the Boreal Elemental. The bow is great because it makes Elementals unblockable without a pump. Yeah, that is part of it. The spite gets stopped by Elemental Passive. The Elemental Passive? Are you talking about the Boreal Elemental? Yes. I still target it, so I, I need five because I need to turn this into a 4-3, a then bite, and then have the leftover mana to do whatever. So we can't play Yarok here, unfortunately. Um... I think the best we have is play Lavakin Brawler, even though it's not very good. I guess we could have attacked with a Metropolis spread, and if they blocked, we could have pumped. Then play Season of Growth. Oh, jeez, that's really bad for us! Alright, we are daubers. I don't believe we can beat this. Hmm, and they have exactly enough mana to... Wait, they don't! It's four mana. Ooh. Alright, so we actually can do something here. We, we can't actually take the Boil Elemental down. 
Like we go... Pump this up. Rabid bite, you and you. Pay four. All right, and then now if they kill my Metroculus Sprite, that's fine, but I think we just needed to get Boreal Elemental out of there. <sighs> yeah, I know, it would have been nice to, like, the other way we could have done that is play Season of Growth and then bite the Executioner, but then, but then we have... Yeah, so here it goes. But then we have to deal with the other Boreal Elemental, which we have no way to kill. Man, we need to draw Arbo. Where is Arbo? So let me go Island, Season of Growth, and then we'll play another Lavakin Brawler, I think. It does Lumiere, but it, you need five. Like, sorry, you need seven. You still need to pay to target, so that, like, doesn't really work out very well. You're back from picking up the cards I ordered in Channel Fireball, where I used the code GABBY for 5% off my entire order! Ayo! You're gas, Molly. Oh, I think I think this is actually fine. Though I really think we want a bow. I'm actually gonna bottom it. I think we're like all in to get the bow. We have two bows. We can do it. Oh, this thing has pro red, huh? You don't have trample either, right? No attacks. That's also literally what you did. Well, it sounds like really smart thing to do, Molly, because you got five percent off your entire order. Ew. Also, if you guys register for a grand prix, you should use my code. It doesn't give you a percent off, but it helps the stream out. So. Jesus! I do not know how we're going to deal with that. That we do not have an answer for. I don't think I can beat an 8-8, no. Hey, ST, welcome to the stream. I don't believe I can beat an 8-8. All right, I think we're just gonna pick up the Lavakin Brawler. Nope. All right, so the plan is gonna be to take a hit from everything and then replay a Lavakin Brawler and then all these together block the Fortress Crab. <laughs> Hey, Clantar! Thank you for the three months! Welcome back to the brew, and how we doing? Oh, that's bad for me. That is bad for me, isn't it? Sounds good, Awesome Possum. Hope you have a good one. So I take nine, and then I just die. So I have to chump. So I guess I'll chump the Fortress Crab. Oh, feels bad, man. Hmm. What are we- how are we ever dealing with a fortress crab? This is really sad, isn't it? Like, I think I'm supposed to play Boreal Elemental here, but like, then what do I do? Eight, eight, too strong. Attack and hope they try to ambush you? How, wh how, how's that gonna help me, Time Twister? Will I be playing Commander in Vegas? I think I will be. Oh, Gauntlet's un- Oh, and then I can reduce it? Yeah, I guess we try that. God, this is so desperate. You're totally right, I forgot about that. It's like so obvious, though. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we have anything in our deck that actually... Now we get it? We can't possibly keep this now. Huh. 
<sighs> yeah, I think we're just daubers. Yeah. Yeah, I think we have to bottom that one. It's just not gonna do anything. And like here, we can't really like take the hit from Fortress Crab, or we also can't let all these flyers get through. I don't know, man. We're pretty dead. Okay. To it again, I guess. <laughs> oh, I think they're going for it. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. I like that. I like that. That's a start. I can't believe they did that. I wonder, like, how would they think that I just mistook it? We clearly just saw him do that a second ago. Why would we think that that was gonna... Like, why would we fall for that? Okay. Yeah, they also, like, not blocked it, then they blocked it, then they not blocked it. <laughs> Alright, I hope the Renown Weaponsmith can't get anything good. Because if they can get a Vial of Dragonfire, that's pretty bad. Okay, they have a second bow. That's pretty obnoxious. I'm gonna be forced to make some blocks. Right, so they can shoot me down twice. Uh, and then they can, like, pump it up one more time. It does trade, but then they put the thing on the Cerulean Drake, which is bad. But I think we're supposed to do this. Yep. It is a pretty tough spot. I don't like it. All right, I hope this scries us into something useful. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do we have any lands here? No. All right. This can't attack into this, luckily. Oh my god, no. I feel like we were so close to like winning this game because our opponent punted on that block that made no sense. Where, where they were taking 4 damage from 20. <laughs> but now we're gonna die anyways. Uh, yeah, we have some pump spells. Oh my god. Now it's GG's for sure. Oh yeah, that thing's gonna kill us real fast. Quantar with a gifted subs! Ooh, yeah, that's good. Put it on top. Quantar, thank you! I really appreciate that. I hope you're having an awesome day. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. Um, let's see who's in, courtesy of Quantar. It's BPS Smooth, totally not a bot. <laughs> 4 to 1. Neocarminati, Alcor, and Griffin 1. Welcome on in, everybody. Look at our new snake friends. All right, we can't really attack with a brawler here, unfortunately. Yeah, that Drake is messing us up, yo. It's funny because I think like now the the stupid bow would look pretty good, but it, we're just like not really in a position to attack either. Okay. So I think next turn we have to start attacking with a Vorse Claw. And then the Boil Elemental can block here, and this guy can block there. <sighs> We're just in such a bad spot. Sending good luck for this game. Thank you so much, Quantar. I really appreciate that. Yeah, so we just send the Vorse Claw. And then have two blockers. One for this, one for that. And take some there. That still puts us to two. It's not great. But I do think, like, we can't win if we don't start attacking, so... Uh, 
I don't think we got this grim pedal, though. I do like the attitude. Alright, that does make it easier to... Oh no, don't tell me they have a... Okay. Okay, that, that totally... I mean, that does get killed by the hard piercer bow, but it also does cantrip. I think I keep that just because we do have a lot of mana. Yeah, exactly, Molly. Well, if they use that to get it back, it's fine. I don't really care. It's just a 1 3. So I think we have to manually set triggers. Let me see. Auto order triggered abilities. Because last time I did it, it did not let me scry first. It actually stacked them, so I drew, then scryed. Okay. That's true, Duke. That's true. They do have to send at me for that to be the case. And they don't know that I'm drawing it, because like they're probably going to send with a Metropolis sprite here. Let's cry! Uh, they have 10 cards in deck. I have 17. They've drawn a lot. Oh no! That's really bad for me. I have to block. They might use the Salvager this turn. To get back the Metropolis sprite? That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Alright, so I took off uh, auto stack trigger, so we should be able to do this in the right order. Uh, so the first trigger we want to happen is Season of Growth. And the last one we want to be Cloud Conceer. So this looks like the right order. You're very surprised they did not do that. Me too! It would have been pretty good for them. They just have another flyer, right? This is the right order, right chat? I believe this should work. We scry, then draw. I don't think so, Duke. Nope. Okay, I'm glad we auto-stacked it. Okay! Now we're talking! Hello! Hello! That's there. Yeah, that's a card. Alright, so we just equip it on the Lava Kin Brawler and Bash kill the Cerulean Drake. And then we leave back the Salvager, which I guess... can attack our cloud and kill our cloud can see her, but that then we just kill the salvager again so we go down to two which is fine uh this is fine the order yeah i think we just kill this idiot we're totally still in this for sure we are I don't think so, Duke. I want to make sure that we kill the Cerulean Drake. Yeah. I'm really glad we killed the Cerulean Drake now. Now I'm not really sure what we're going to do about that Empyrean Eagle, though. That's a problem. Yeah, we're going to have to peel something. Sure. No, we bricked. Lumiere, I think they for they don't know that this card does anything other than be a two one, or they decided it's never worth it. That's too bad. We were so close. We we were so far, especially because of the the eight eight crab. It took us so long to climb back from that crab. All right, so we're at. Four and two. So we kind of guess four three for this draft. We still have outs of, of running it up. Yes, me too. That is definitely the best Baleful Strike scrub I've ever seen. I I can't believe that in the end, after not blocking it for like all those times that we attacked, they just were like, yeah, this time I'll block it. Oh, it's all good, Grim Petals. I am not worried. It was really funny. This looks good. Ooh, it would be nice if we made the comeback at 7-2. We've had a couple drafts lately where we were like... 
uh, like one two in the draft, and then just like ran it up to like seven. <laughs> Play Fairy Miscreant. Play Fairy Miscreant. Do it. Do it. Play Fairy Miscreant. Ah! My body is ready. You're somehow in your fourth GB Garbo mirror in a row in M20 draft. That's funny. All right. We need to draw a land. Would be amazing. Land, please. Please. Wow. We are really doing it. Wonder what's pausing. Yo, Gabby, hey, money. How, how goes it? Ooh, Cloud Conceer into Cloud Conceer? That's busted. <laughs> Next turn, we can go Wing Words, equip, and kill. It's gonna be great. Yo, Gooby Gooby. How's it going, e money? Are you happy it's Friday? Gotta get down on Friday. I'm doing good. We've just been drafting. We've been playing M20. My jewel dog is barking. You know, just a normal day in the life. Yeah, do you have any cool plans for the weekend? Chad, do you have any cool plans for the weekend? Ship me your weekend plans. Let me lead with this. Aw, oh, that's cutie money. Play lots of Fire Emblem? That sounds like a good... Ooh! Why not Overgrowth? Because we're going to miss land drops. We, we got to draw a card so that we don't miss land drops. Lose at Modern? Molly, what if you just win at Modern? Just win, forehead! <laughs> okay. You didn't think of that? Well, you should have thought of that. That's like, I feel, a pretty easy line. Let's just play Yaruk and not bounce anything. Yeah, exactly. Molly, last time, last time, I think you were just like, let's not lose. You just didn't lose. It's easy. Oh, no. So I think they did have Unsummon a little bit ago. Dude, I have this hard piercer bow, and we're just gonna die to them, like, playing these, like, little idiots. My bow is the nuts versus them, but I'm also just dying to this stuff. Like, I think we're supposed to try to go Cloud Seer into find a land, and then play the Metropolis sprite. Oh, there you go. We did it. Oh, that's cute, Matthew. I like the artwork you picked for it. Okay. So now they don't have good attacks anymore. They still have... they ha So they have to have Infuriate. That's the, like, plus three plus... It's like the red giant growth, right? It's like plus three plus two. I'm pretty sure they have that. Have you been beating the GB Garbo? Oh yeah, you're playing GB Garbo too. Oh, it could be Bird Grabber activation. What does this have? Pro? Pro White? Jesus, all their deck is X ones. I don't understand. Uh. Actually. All right. I do think they have Infuriate, but this is fine. Yeah. Okay. Now we can play Yarok again, I guess. I guess Boreal Elemental is like a little bit better. It blocks everything. And then we can also equip it. Yeah, that seems better. I don't even know if we're playing Yarok Swift Crasher with his hand, to be honest. All right, try to touch this. You can't touch this. Oh my god, really? Are you for reals? What do they have here? We can't not block it. They really don't give up. 
Wow, they got us good. Hmm. G to the G's. They're kind of crushing us, actually. I think we do this, and then we play a Lava King Brawler. Yeah, I, I think we're supposed to block the big one, though. Like, I don't think it's right to not do that. Do we even care about Renown Weaponsmith? We already have one of the bows. So I feel like I kind of don't care about this. Oh, yeah, we could have played the Wave Crasher here, maybe. <sighs> Yeah, I might actually keep this, and then you can play another one in the Renowned Weaponsmith. So yeah, maybe I'll just keep it on top. I think it's fine. Yeah, because it blocks their... Like, it looks like all their creatures are really small, too. Mm. We need another land to kill that. Jules! Jules, what's going on out there, girl? So we need one more land. We need to scry land to the top. Yeah, I do have to go at Chandra here. For sure. So let me play my other, like, Lavakin Brawler, because I need the Lavakin Brawler to attack for four, at least. And then we can play also a Hard Piercer Bow and then kill the Scorch Spitter. Oh, Overgrowth Weaponsmith plus Equip also works, yes. Yeah. Let's just go Overgrowth. That's fine. Ah! That kind of offsets the Boreal Elemental a little bit. That might actually be okay. Yeah, that's not bad. I think I'll leave it on top. And then I play Renown Weaponsmith. And then I equip this idiot. Leave it there. Yeah, it basically gives us a turn, right? So it seems like it's worth it. Okay, so let's attack here. Doesn't really matter the order. Kill the Scorch Spitter. Alright, so now they get to choose Chump there or let Chandra die. And Chandra's almost certainly gonna die. Alright, we're doing fine. Because we know that we can reduce to ashes on the following. Ugh, that's kind of annoying. Right, so we gain three and take another four and then go down to one. So let's go Gift of Paradise and then play another, like, Lavakin Brawler, I guess. Oh, that's right. We're gonna kill the Miscreant. That's true. Okay. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So let me... I think we are just playing another Lavakin Brawler here. Uh, we do not need the land anymore. Okay. So we can attack with you, and not with you, unfortunately, or with you. I think I need to restack triggers, because this is kind of annoying. <laughs> Hold on. Gameplay. Hold on. Gameplay. There you go. Alright, chat. I think, I think we're in this. I think we're doing fine. I don't think we need to move any equipment or anything. We're just gonna take three from Elemental and then just reduce it, and then they need to figure out how they kill us. Yeah, if they have a Smuggler or something, they're gonna crush us, but... Like, currently we're doing fine. We just... Reduce the Boreal Elemental and then attack with some dudes. They probably should have held that for the Remage. They're not, like... Playing it out doesn't do that much, right? Alright. Just enough to kill it. Um, Is it even worth it for us to attack? Oh yeah, if they, if they drafted Shock, we're dobbers. Let me play this Evil Wilds real quick. It is 6 damage. It is a lot of damage. Let me get a forest. 
Because we, we can still line up some blocks. Either one dies, so it doesn't really matter which one we target. We can target this one. All right, and turn. Yeah, even like Chandra's Outrage would be bad here, right? Because like the two just kills us. Uh, so we could Yarok uh, pick up the Overgrowth Elemental, put a counter on this, and then replay it and then... Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I think I think it's pretty good because it's gonna bottom return this. Cause it also means that there's another elemental on the board for those guys to be a little bit bigger. Cause I can now put the counter on this one. Uh that draws us a card, so that seems good. Yeah, they don't appear to be pausing either. I think we're doing Season of Growth was been very good in this in this draft for sure. Send with both. It doesn't really matter which one we target. Alright, so this is lethal, so they have to make some blocks here. They're probably gonna try to double block one of my guys. They're just chumping it? Why? They might be trying to draw the smuggler. I think they're trying to see if their draw is a smuggler and they can just smuggle past us. Oh my god, don't do it! Don't do it! I think they're playing to their outs! I think they're playing to their- Oh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it could have been that they also had shock and they didn't want my creature die because I get a counter from Overgrowth Elemental. Whew! Okay, chat, we beat expectations. We're doing better with this deck than expected. We, we, we predicted a 4-3-ish. Four, four, yeah, Shock and Outrage are both outs. This looks pretty good. Kind of a bummer that we have the Heart Piercer bow in hand. Have you mentioned last live I joined a site you said has a list of the best picks in M20? Yeah, I channel Fireball, the sponsor of our stream. <laughs> Has uh, set reviews that are written by Luis and um, oh, I think I want to get right now on Weaponsmith going actually. Set reviews that are that are uh, made by Luis and it has like a list of picks and how good he thinks all the cards are in limited. So it is a very good resource for. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? We're gonna use the mana from Renown Weaponsmith, Metropolis Sprite, and then Equip. I think is what we want to do. Because this is just more mana efficient to play the Heart Piercer Bow. And then we play that, and we play a Metropolis Sprite, and then we equip this here. Look at us! Look at our turn two. It was sick. Sounds good. Have a good uh, Friday night, DC. Hope you crush that f &M. Oh man, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him! Feels good, man. All right, so let's tutor for... We need to tutor for another bow. Oh yeah, we are doing the thing now. We got an Eva Wilds for red. Then we play a Heart Piercer bow, but we don't equip it. And then we send Metropolis Sprite and pew pew. New to the channel, this looks cool. Ah, oh, I'm happy that you're joining us, Spider Charm. Welcome to the stream. We are playing, we're six, no, five, two in the draft right now, I think. Hmm. Is this popper? No, it's uh, limited. Yeah, we're five, two, right? Double bow and bite does kill it. I might do that. So let's attack with Metropolis Sprite. We're gonna have to pump up the Sprite too. Hit them for two, and then we can go Rabid Bite. You and you. 
It does consume a lot of resources, but like that card's really good and I don't particularly want them to have it. Yeah, we could have used a weapons myth to equip. We couldn't do anything else that turn, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, no worries, Spider Champ. You lost one damage? No, we. Oh, that's true. We could have attacked, right? Because we could have. Yeah, you're right. Because we could have bit, like, pumped it up, bit it, and then on attacks, we kill it. Yeah, so I guess we did miss on one point of damage. I do like that. Can we do both? Oh, we can't. Look at how awkward our mana is. This is stupid. Hmm. I do think we're supposed to get Season of Growth down, even if it slows us down. Might as well equip. Might as well equip. Send. Okay. It's not great, but I do think that being able to scry with these guys is just going to be pretty valuable. Because they have a lot of stuff in hand still. We need to find our boom booms. Plus, a lot of their cards might be dead because they might be X2. Did I see the Barcelona Championship? Uh, are you talking about... Magic Fest... Or sorry, are you talking about uh, Mythic Championship 3? Where am I in Cryptic Caves? If you're playing a 2 color deck, it's fine. Can I gift a Paradise and still Overgrowth Elemental? Mm. No, I think we should just Lava King Brawler. Yeah, because then I can put a counter on this too. See, like in this spot, like the Crypt of Cakes looks fine, right? They're not playing three colors. I just drew them an extra card. They were kind of flooding. Uh... Yeah, we can keep that. Crypt of Cakes. <laughs> I think they have a million small creatures and they can't play them while we have this out. I think that's why they're playing the way they're playing. They have to have small things. Yeah, exactly, Molly. I, I also think so. That's why they're using all their removal spells. I think that's what's going on. Uh, what's going on? I think it's not a big deal if we... Yeah, I don't think it's a big deal if we miss out on a pump here from Overgrowth Elemental. So I think it's probably worth it to just play here in the scry. Woodland Champion. That card's kind of mediocre. I'm going to play Vorse Claw next turn. We can do better, I think. All right. I want to see them. I want to see them play their small creatures that they clearly can't play. Dude, what the hell? Are you being for serious? Look at their draw. That's unbelievable. This is, well, this is quite stupid. All right, bottom of the island. Honestly, Seen in a Growth has been really, really good. We've scried so many lands to the bottom. Sure. Oh, wow. Damn, girl. That is a bit spoopy. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with this. I think we probably try to race them. Each one is hitting for four, so they take eight and they take seven here. Yeah, let me scry first. No. Yeah. We probably equip onto the... Bory. Uh, no, actually, onto the Vorse Claw. That way, if they want to try to... They're not going to block it, though. It doesn't really matter. All right. Well, Genesis, we can't attack yet. Jesus. Why not send all? Well, I would send with all the creatures that are not summoning sick, you know? I don't want to cheat at the game. Mostly not wanting to cheat at the game is the reason. Alright, we're gonna have to sit tight now. Can't really race this. I mean... Yeah, 
we can't attack anymore. Because Boreal was still summoning sick at her. <laughs> that continues to be true. Alright, that's pretty good. I'm... <laughs> Did I not get my creatures vaccinated against summoning sickness? Classic not vaccinating my creatures. out there what's going on out there girl why are you huffing so much oh geez that's really bad for me we can't block this god I don't even know what we're supposed to do them drawing- God, I can't believe they drew sleep paralysis. That sucks. Because we also know what we're drawing. Ugh. God, people are being unreal, yeah. Chat's being unreal, right, Molly? It's unbelievable. <laughs> I guess we have to go at it again. See if we find something that we can play. Man. So close, too. Yeah, we're dead. Something is going on with the stream where it's flashing black. I don't know what's going on there. Should have swung last turn because it was impossible for you to die this turn only could have to like Chandra's outrage. Yeah, well they had three. <laughs> it's impossible. Yeah, I know. I don't. <laughs> they have shocks. They have a lot of stuff. Also, I. Are we still trying hard? We we are. We did okay. We did okay, Rage. Let's actually crack those packs. I don't understand how chat... Chat, how do you think that's gonna play out? You guys want uh, in a deck that's clearly playing a lot of elementals, you just want to like get in there and then just be like, well, I hope they don't have any other elemental that they can play. Like that just sounds so bad. It's been good, Rage. Yes, we were also dead to the cat. It's so reckless. Yeah, I, I don't I really don't like that strategy. It's not even about not it's not even about like trying to play to your outs. You're just like playing to die when you do that. And I think chat's also very like gung ho on being like, oh, you should have done this because you know exactly how I played out the other way, which is like that doesn't mean that you made the incorrect decision at the time. It means you made, probably could have made the right play at the time. Then you see that it doesn't work out and then you're like, ah, I know what I would have done. I would have done it a little bit differently. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, of course hindsight's 2020. Like that doesn't mean that we're supposed to attack that turn. I still don't think we should have. Um, all right, chat, let me wrap up the video. If you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching and thanks for listening to my rant about being Roddy and hindsight is 2020. Um... If you would like to see more M20 drafts, they're on youtube.com slash gabysparts. If you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash gabysparts. Thanks for watching, YouTube. See ya. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash gabysparts. I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.